Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we'll look at bending a blend around a shape in Illustrator. Now before I start the video let me tell you where you can find additional Illustrator training of mine. I have a series of courses at Udemy and in the description below are coupon links for all of those courses. My coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they're even better. I also have classes at Skillshare. The coupon in the description below includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally better. Sign up for Skillshare to get access to thousands of classes there including over 200 of mine. Now let's swing back to Illustrator where I already have a document created and it doesn't really matter how big your document is. I'm going to show you how to arrange a blend of shapes around another shape. We'll start off with a circle. So I'm just going to draw out a circle here and we're going to blend a series of circles. So to begin with, let's just fill this circle with a color. So I'll apply a green to it. I'll go to the selection tool and then hold the Alt key on a PC. That would be option on a Mac as I drag away another circle. Now this circle is exactly the same size as the previous one, but let's make it blue. Now we can create our blend. So I'll select over both of these shapes. I'll choose object blend and then make. Now this is the default blend and it is a seamless blend. But if we double click on the blend tool over here, we can turn preview on and instead of getting this sort of seamless color, I'm going to choose specified steps and I'm going to reduce the number of steps down so that I can actually see the circles that go to make up the blend. I've chosen 10. You can choose any number that you like. I'll click OK. Now let's go and make a shape around which we're going to place this blend. I'll again make a circle because a closed shape is going to indicate some issues you're going to have with this process. Now I'm going to give it just a stroke and no fill, but the shape in the sense of being a visible stroke is going to be sacrificed in this process. So I'll drag over the blend and also over the circle. So I've got everything selected. It doesn't matter the ordering of these. So you could have created the circle first and the blend second. Doesn't matter how they're stacked in the layers palette and choose object and then blend. And I'll choose replace spine. Replacing the spine effectively places the blend around the circle, but you can see that there's a piece missing. And the reason for this is that this is a closed path. And if you want the dots to go all the way around the circle, you have to break the path. So again, with the selection tool, we'll select over this shape. Now there's two ways that you could break this path. One of them is to go to the direct selection tool here and just select one of these anchor points. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to click on this one and up here on the toolbar, you'll see that there's an option for cut path at selected anchor points. And when I cut the path, the blend travels all the way around the shape. Let me just undo that because there's a second way that you can cut this path and that is using the scissors tool. It shares a toolbar position with the eraser tool. So I'm going to select the scissors tool and this time let's cut it at this point. If I just click on that anchor point, it breaks open the path at that point and the circles, the blend, is now spaced out all the way around the circle. Now it's still a blend, so if we select it and double click on the blend tool, we can make adjustments to this. I'm going to turn preview on and let me just increase or decrease the number of steps we're using so that we can add or subtract the circles from the actual shape. Now a blend is an actual effect. So over in the layers palette, you can expect to see a blend. And when we open up the blend in just a second, here is the blend and inside the blend is the path. That's the circle, which is, as I said, has been sacrificed in the process. And this is the starting shape and this is the ending shape. And these could be edited. So you could select the ending shape. And if, for example, you wanted to change the color, you could make it a different color. So it is editable, but it is inside this blend option. So this is the path and these are the two circles that go together to make the blend. 
Now, if you're placing a blend along an open path, you won't need to cut the path because it's all going to work perfectly. So let's very quickly recreate this blend and we'll place it along an open path. Selecting over both shapes, object, blend, make, double click on the blend tool, select preview so you can see what's going on. Use specified steps and reduce the number of steps until you can see the number of shapes that you approximately want for your path. Of course, that can be edited later on. For my path, I'm going to draw it with the pencil tool, but you could draw it with the pen tool should you wish to do so. So let's just draw a sweeping path. Select over the blend and the path and choose object blend and then replace spine. And so the blend is placed along the spine. Now, if you want to reverse it, so if you wanted orange at the other end, you could select the shape and choose object and then blend and you'll choose reverse spine. And in that case, the blend goes the other way along the line. I hope that this video has been of help to you in understanding how you can blend shapes and then how you can place those blended shapes along a path of your choice. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.